Good morning. It is brisket day. About 4.45 a.m. I trimmed this brisket the night before. Um, it's been sitting out for about an hour. I took it out about 3.30 this morning. I was so excited I couldn't sleep. Um, I went ahead and trimmed it last night. I got all this fat off the front. Left a little bit though. Um, I trimmed this, this little edge over here so it separates out to where you can really kind of see the separation of the, the point to the flat here. And then on the back side, I went ahead and left a pretty good amount of fat. Um, normally, in, in the past, I've kind of trimmed a lot of this off, but today I'm trying something a little bit different. Um, I've always struggled to keep that flat really juicy, so I'm gonna leave a lot of that fat on to try and protect this cut of meat right here, keeping it juicy throughout the cook. Um, picked up this prime brisket at Sam's Club. So let's see how she turns out. All right, so I've gone ahead and seasoned up this brisket. I did a nice light coat of the Boar's Night Out White Lightning, and I topped it off with the Simply Marvelous a Peppered Cow. Um, both really go together really well. I've used this combination uh, for beef ribs. So it's starting to sweat a little bit. I don't want any of the moisture to come out of it anymore. It's already been sitting out for over an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out and put it right onto the Traeger. All right, here we go, brisket is on. We're looking right at about 5 a.m. Fits in there perfectly towards the front as well. As you can see, I got my water pan underneath with about, I don't know, 40 ounces of water. So I'm going to let this, you know, absorb some smoke for a couple hours. I got the Traeger set at 250 and the, the, this Renegade Pro really purrs and cooks well at about 250. There's not a lot of variation in temperature. So when I set it at 250, I might get 10 degrees north of 250 or 10 degrees south of 250. Um, so we're, we're, we're rolling right at 5 a.m. I'm using that signature blend of hickory, maple, and cherry. I'm going to check back in about two hours, and that's when I'll go ahead and glaze with a sauce. I like to spray over the meat every couple hours, which is just, you know, Worcestershire water and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. All right, I'll check in with you guys a little bit. It's brisket day, baby. Happy Saturday. 7 a.m., two hours in. You can see, I mean, it just purrs. This Renegade Pro just purrs right at about 250. We're sitting at 248. So let's check it out. I got I got my uh, glazing liquid here that I like to spray over, you know, long cooks like this to keep the, the meat nice and moist. Look at that. I mean, we already got some good color going on. We got plenty of water in our water pan. We are looking good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking brisket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just give it a nice spray of this, this Worcestershire water with a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar. And I'll just be spraying every every hour from now on, maybe every hour and a half, just to keep this meat nice and moist. So check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, here we go, four hour mark, right at about 9 a.m. Um, and like I said, you know, these, the Renegade Pro and the, the Traeger 22 Series Pros, I mean, looks a little blurred out there. But we're right at 251. They just hum at 250, and I think that's the optimal cooking temp for some of these smaller Traeger models. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. So that's four hours. The color looks great. The seasoning is, is well tight to that skin. Um, for me, the color isn't exactly where I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it a little bit more and then check temp in maybe an hour or so. I want to develop some really good bark, but it's, it's humming along. We still have some some liquid in our drip pan there and we'll keep her going all right here we go hour number six temperature like i said dialed in we're right at about 254 
Let's see what this baby looks like. Get that liquid out of the way. Ooh, talk about some color. Look at that. That looks beautiful. The bark looks really good. I might let it go a tad bit longer. I'm not sure. Let me check temp and see where we're at. Obviously using the Thermaworks MK4. Obviously, proofs in the pudding, always the best. And we're right at 162 in the point here. So um, I'm gonna continue to let it go for a little bit longer, spray it up a little bit. And as you can see, I mean, we just got some really good bark on there developing. I might let it go for another hour before I wrap. But she doing it good. All right, check on you guys a little bit. All right, so started this bad boy at about five this morning the time is 2 11 2 11 so we're about nine hours in on this 10 pound brisket and i went ahead and wrapped it up about two hours ago so i'm gonna go ahead and check the temp on this thing and see where we're sitting um i want to pull it anywhere between 205 and oh my god holy shnikes I want to pull it anywhere between 205 and 210, so let's go ahead and check the, the point on this guy. You're obviously using that Thermaworks. Oh my god, that went in just like butter. We're good. We're right at 209. Oh, look at that jiggle. Oh, mama. It's going to be a good one. Check in with you guys a little bit. Going to let it sit and rest for about two hours. You know what, sometimes <laughs> you gotta zoom in on people eating. Okay, how was that? You got flat, you got brisket it's, flat right it's there. Delicious. <laughs> Dude, you can't cuss. God dang it. Love it, love that. It's okay, it's okay. Joe? I slide your meat in my mouth. <laughs> can't, can't ever use this. It's not cursing. <laughs> it's not cursing, babe. Is it good? That's good, dude. I don't know. Hey, you good?